Maradona's goal of the century is football poetry in motion, an iconic piece of skill remembered by everyone. Even Messi has replicated it. But few people know that this act of magic was actually planned. How? This is the story behind Maradona's ultimate goal against England. Long before the 1986 World Cup that transformed Maradona into the stuff of legends, a young Diego was making his way into Argentina's national team. It's 1980, and England have arranged a friendly with World Cup champions Argentina. The venue is the legendary Wembley Stadium. Two strong teams. The home crowd are eager to catch a glimpse of Argentina's newest sensation, 19-year-old Diego Maradona. Remember, at the time, there was no internet and TV coverage of international football matches wasn't as common as it is today. World Cups then served as the prime way, if not the only, to catch a glimpse of overseas talent. In 1980, Maradona hadn't even been sold to Boca Juniors, but his stories about him had spread around Europe thanks to this friendly match at Hampton Park in 1979. The English were ready for Diego, and he didn't disappoint. He took the ball outside the box, turned, and dribbled past four defenders before stepping into the box on the right, and when the goalkeeper came out, he kicked a low shot towards the far post. The ball went out by inches. The illusion? Broken. The effect was not lost. Everyone at Wembley stood up to applaud. It was a lovely play, and I finished it with what I thought was the best choice. It looked so easy to me. It was the goal of my life at Wembley, in front of all the English fans. Diego was sure he had made the right choice and even confessed he missed due to bad luck as the match was played on a Friday the 13th. Once he got back to Argentina, there was a simpler answer. Diego needed to use a sleight of hand. A sleight of foot, I guess. You should have faked the shot, idiot. The goalkeeper was already on the ground. Diego's brother saw it clearly. He shouldn't have taken the shot, but faked one and dribbled outside before finishing the play. He was 10 years old then. I told him to shut the f up. Six years later, Diego had moved on to bigger stages. It's the quarterfinal match of the Mexico 1986 World Cup between Argentina and England in the scorching heat. Maradona has already opened the scoring with a cheeky handball, a moment of trickery so blatant it confused everyone. You don't need VAR to confirm it. Diego did that himself and called it the hand of God. Porque si no se dieron cuenta 90.000 personas, ¿por qué se tenía que dar cuenta él? Aparte, eh, yo tuve en ese ese día tuve la mano de Dios porque la la puse y la saqué rápido y le metí la cabeza y Shilton no se dio cuenta. El, el que se da cuenta es, eh, es el central. Bacher viene sobre, sobre mi derecha. Steven era, no sé, bueno, no sé, no me acuerdo. Chilton no se da cuenta de, de, del gol. Se lo dice el, 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 el compañero que ve la, la jugada. Porque el grito salió así, con los ojos cerrados. Un arquerazo. Los arqueros tienen que salir con los abiertos. Minutes later, he gets the ball inside his own half, turns, and starts running. He Houdinis his way out of England's defense. He leaves behind Reed, Butcher, Beardsley, and Fenwick. And it comes to this. Maradona is in the box. It's a copy of his brilliant play from six years ago. Maradona is face-to-face -face with England's goalkeeper, Peter Shilton. He has a fraction of a second to think. This time, he makes the right choice. In the World Cup match, I don't have that play in my head. I can't see it, but I don't risk it. Once I dribbled Fenwick, I did like this, and Shilton dropped to the ground. Maradona didn't have to dribble past the goalkeeper. A body faint was enough. That guy was closing me down. I thought, this guy can break my ankle, but he won't take the goal from me. He didn't. 
Maradona scored his second and sealed Argentina's ticket to the World Cup semifinals. It was a display of football skill and magic unmatched to this day. One that had a live commentary that lived up to it. Quiero llorar, Dios santo, que vive el fútbol, golazo, Diego, Maradona, Maradona, en recorrida memorable, en la jugada de todos los tiempos, barrilete cósmico, de qué planeta viniste para dejar en el camino a tanto inglés, para que el país un puño apretado gritando por Argentina, Argentina 2, Inglaterra 0. Argentina would end up winning the 1986 World Cup with Diego Maradona, the undisputed best player of the tournament. Such individual quality was rarely seen before or after in the World Cup. That magnificent goal against England is the jewel in their crown. It embodies all the brilliance of the footballer and the tradition of the Argentinian game, the Potrero. El potrero de nosotros era acá, la calle que era toda de tierra, no era de asfalto. Tantos vehículos no había, que jugábamos en la calle. Yo era el arquero. Él jugaba teniendo 12 años, 14 años, jugaba contra gente de 30 años, 25 años. Ya era habilidoso y lo buscaban de todo lado para jugar a la pelota acá en los potreros. And it came after one of the most treacherous and unlawful actions of the game. A handball goal. Those two actions perfectly encapsulate Maradona's two sides, the genius and the thief. Google search Gol del Siglo, or Goal of the Century, and you'll get this result. Maradona's goal has 7 million results on Google. It has its own Wikipedia entry. It might have started as a nickname, but FIFA officialized it. During the 2002 World Cup, a vote was carried out to pick the best goal in the history of the competition. The contenders included Pele's World Cup winner in 1958, Haji's Thunderbolt against Colombia, and Baggio's 1990 work of art against Czechoslovakia. Over 340,000 people voted over six weeks, and Maradona's goal won the award with more than twice the votes of the runner-up. There are countless highs in Maradona's legend. His rise to the top of the world from absolute poverty. The World Cup title and finals played with Argentina. The Scudettos won with Napoli. To his fans, Diego's status has been elevated to that of a god. And his goals became his very own miracles. With his Galazzo against England being the most recognizable one. There isn't a single football fan in the world who hasn't seen it. And in case the newer generations haven't, Messi took care of reminding everyone about it. In 2007, Messi was 19 years old and his powers were growing stronger by the day. The comparisons to Maradona were his bread and butter, but young Leo did himself no favors with the goal he scored in the Copa del Rey semifinal against Getafe. It was a carbon copy of Maradona's goal from start to finish with the sole difference being that Leo threw a nutmeg in the mix. Messi even dedicated his goal to Diego, who was facing health issues at the time. Diego has always been there for me and always has words of praise for me. I wish him the best. They say imitation is the greatest form of flattery. It was unintentional, of course, but Messi paid homage to him. In a way, also getting rid of Maradona's shadow by scoring that goal. Once Messi proved he could score like Diego, we could all focus on who Lionel actually was on his own. Maradona's goal of the century is a piece of football art that belongs in its finest museum, the hearts and minds of this game's fans. It will come before anything else he's done, good or bad. It's his redefining moment, his masterpiece. Like a journalist poet once said, the play of all times. Such a goal would not have been possible without a 10-year-old's advice to his older brother. <laughs>